Welcome back and thank you very much for your time this morning. Join us on WhatsApp 02021 66633. The Guardian Times this morning reports that Ghana's preparedness for coronavirus covering earmarks $100 million to combat COVID-19. Uh, president spoke yesterday to the nation. Adaklu Jakpo, residents held hostage after a severe rainstorm. They couldn't cross. They had to swim, literally. Five Wegehe students sweep 2019 WASI Best Performance Awards. And coronavirus update WHO, um, or WHO, declares COVID-19 a pandemic. The Daily Guide, coronavirus closes in. WHO declares pandemic. President directs $100 million for a fight. How Auditor General chopped 350,000 Ghana cities get fund cash. Kintampo accident driver was dozing, according to uh, a police report. And 11 institutions signed anti-corruption memorandum of understanding. Daily graphic. Adishiman supports graphic at 70. Ghana increases food exports. Accrues 868 million Ghana cities in five years. ECG to buy local cables. And 100 million dollars awaits COVID-19. President states a nation broadcast. Upon Kruma named among young global uh, leaders. That's the, on the back page. We're checking out the first lady who's presenting a business startup to women in the central region. Uh, they're trying to reach out to uh, a lot of our women. Business Finder is a very final one for this morning. It says, FinTech's welcome deadline extension commit to deeper engagement with the Bank of Ghana. One district, one factory. Government commissions New Deal's factory. And $100 million voted for coronavirus preparedness. President Akufo Upon Krumah is uh, on the front page as well. My guest this morning is the Honorable Alahassan Suhini. He's the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North mm -hmm. constituency. And he's gone through his primary, so hopefully he gets to represent his people uh, one more time. And uh, the Honourable Fuseni, or Isa Fuseni, is the Honourable Member of Parliament for the Okaikwe North constituency in Accra. He is yet to go through his primaries <laughs> on the 25th of <laughs> April, and we can only wish him well. Gentlemen, welcome. I have two knots here, so it's fine. I'm safe. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning to our viewers. What a way to be here. But I wish my brother... Why, 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 are you, why are you laughing plenty like this? Even though he's coming up against an interesting uh, uh, con uh, competitor, okay. but mm. I wish him that. But the last time you were here, he told you that your competitor is, is a non-starter. So he told you, oh, he told you that the competitor is. Well, he, he doesn't even know the grounds. Junior, I was, I was listening to you. Johnny, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that uh, my, the, mm. my, my, my work over the last three years will be, will be the deciding factor. Mm. It's very obvious for the people who I represent. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that I, I have not taken the representation and opportunity given to me by the constituency for granted. Mm. I've done my utmost best and I, I, I believe that I, I've done enough for them to retain me. Okay. And that is what is going to carry me through the elections. Right. Okay. Um, not just the primaries, but I'm looking at the ultimate elections come December 2020. Okay. Well, listen to what the president said yesterday, uh, briefly. Basini, uh, your grounds, how are they? Well, alhamdulillah, it's good. Um, yesterday, um, we hosted a speak-out uh, okay. where His Excellency mm -hmm. President Mahama is um, uh, getting in touch with the uh, very people who make this country what it is, uh, <coughs> to hear from them what they expect of his next government mm -hmm. and what they uh, appreciated about what he did and mm -hmm. what they did not appreciate about what he did in his mm -hmm. first government. So uh, it was a turn of the northern region and uh, the Tamalinov constituency was a proud host. Okay. And okay. Uh, the turnout was very impressive. Mm -hmm. The issues raised were very germane. Okay. And the president... Uh, President Mahama, uh, like he's done in almost all the regions that he has gone to, uh, makes the time, sometimes three hours, four hours, mm -hmm. just to sit down, interact, listen, take notes. Uh, that will inform the policies and programs that he will, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, use in his next government. So Tamalinov is well. Uh, we uh, are poised to, you know, retain that seat, inshallah, okay. and also to uh, <coughs> contribute our quota to 
the victory of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. The only problem I have with my brother is that he's going to have a tough, tough. Um, that's that's you not know, for you to say. Primaries. <laughs> allow, allow he's going to have a tough to that. But I am sure he will. He will win. Yeah. The unfortunate <laughs> thing, however, is that uh, it's a seat that the NDC will reclaim. Can you can you take away the? No, comments? let me let me. Can you take let away me the let comments? me correct and. Yes. He says it's a seat that the NDC will reclaim. And this is never one match. Well, it's never. <laughs> okay. The only time that we had an NDC member of parliament for a constituency <coughs> called the Kankwe, mm -hmm. was in 1992. Okay. Since 1996, NDC, yes, I, I will admit that yeah. we were on the decline, but we started rising again. Okay. And we are so going to watch. actually so open, open the gap mm -hmm. going forward. Um, mm -hmm. Johnny, before, before I go, let me also congratulate um, Upon Kruma okay. on, yes. on his nomination. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that he is one of the stars of the government, mm -hmm. and we wish him well in, in his endeavors. I mean, he's done excellently well. Mm -hmm. We are proud of him as a party and as young people. Mm -hmm. We are quite, quite very also <coughs> proud of his achievements. And we wish him well. Okay. Uh, all Congratulations to my good friend Kojo Pong Kroma, and uh, senior in the game as so, well. Uh, well. These days he's the information minister, so he's, <laughs> he's my big brother in power. It's <laughs> <He's> fine. <laughs> I stand on same. I, I stand on same words. <laughs> yeah, so, Congratulations. So, yeah. so apart from uh, if you say any, we, we, we are part of the fraternity. Yeah. So, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Fraternity okay. Now you see, you see how the media people do. <laughs> Easily they gang up against you if you're not part of them. Like it's, 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 it's a subject. Saying? Oh, what it's it's true. What it's true. Uh, oh, you, I know you want you want you you want to you want to use that as a bait to to get me to say those that I typically stay away from. We won't take that back to your primary. We won't allow myself to be dragged in. Primary is on your side. I'm not on your side. Let's let's listen to the president of the republic yesterday speaking. Uh, to the nation uh, following the fact that the WHO declared coronavirus or uh, COVID-2019 uh, an international pandemic. It is imperative that we step up our preparedness to ensure that beyond these initial satisfactory measures, we adopt a whole of Ghana approach in adequately preparing for a possible hit within our borders. In order to do so, at my prompting, the Minister for Finance has made available the CD equivalent of 100 million United States dollars to enhance our coronavirus preparedness and response plan. That is to fund the expansion of infrastructure, purchase of materials and equipment, and public education. I have as of yesterday, ordered the suspension of all international travels by public officials, except for critical assignments, which will have to be authorized by the Chief of Staff at the Office of the President. All public officials are to remain within the jurisdiction until further notice. Video conferencing facilities and other technological tools are to be utilized whenever possible for international engagements. I've also instructed further enhancements of the protocols for inbound traffic from already affected countries. Fellow Ghanaians, all of us should as much as possible desist from all foreign travels, except the most critical ones, until there's a grip on the virus. That's the President of the Republic, Nana Dodanko Kufado, yesterday speaking to the nation. And you could tell from the President's demeanor that he was not altogether uh, happy and uh, he was in a very pensive mood. I come to you, um, Sohini. This, this is good news, is it not, that the President has decided beyond the 4.5 million that had earlier been released, the plans of preparedness that we've been told about over and over again. The President says, our neighbors have gotten it. And we should be ready. So here is money available over 500 million Ghana cities. Um, take it, expand infrastructure, buy materials and equipment, and get ready because we've been told it will come. This is good news, is it not? Johnny, um, once again, let me say good morning to our viewers and good morning to the very good people of the Tamale North constituency. Um, yes, it's good news. My reaction yesterday when I saw the flyer making the rounds that the president was going to address the nation was finally. Mm. 
Why that was my that was my reaction because it's been long overdue. This has been a crisis for some time now. Mm. The World Health Organization and other, you know, um, um, health agencies around the mm. world have been urging countries to take measures, mm. to put measures in place to ensure that, you know, they protect not only their mm. citizens, but other citizens of the world. Mm. And I have been surprised as a country that we have not had any confirmed case yet. Mm. Why have you been surprised? I am happy and thankful to mm. God that we have not had any confirmed case yet. Right. But I am surprised because <coughs> if you look at the measures that we have put in place, mm -hmm. I think we have survived this so far by the grace of God. We don't By only the grace of God. The health systems in place. Johnny, the speak to the health professionals. We have the, 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 the most hard-working health professionals that you can think of. Mm -hmm. Very committed and very willing to put <coughs> their knowledge and expertise at the disposal of, you know, all of us. Mm -hmm. And especially in the case of this outbreak. But... They are simply helpless because they do not have the PPEs. Mm -hmm. How many people in Ghana really have had the opportunity to even undergo a test? Okay. In fact, in the United States of America, one of the things they are taking their president on is how, you know, people are not being tested. So the fact that you are not even making it possible for people to have the test does not give you correct data mm. to work with. Because, God forbid, God forbid, I believe and I hope we don't have it in this country. But we are only saying we don't have it in this country because we are not testing people. We are not testing people. In other jurisdictions, random tests are done. Okay. The, 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 the health service is so equipped that they can move into TV3 anytime and test people here. Move to Parliament anytime and test Just people. Just to be sure. Just to be sure just to rule out the possibility of anybody having it. They can move to any institution, move to any public gathering and test people. That's how ready some nations are. And I'm saying in this country, my last check was that, in fact, even the, the mask. Okay, the PPEs. The, the PPEs, just mask. We don't have up to 10,000 pieces. We don't have up to 10,000 pieces for, for even our health professionals. So... How ready are we? Look, first we're told the ministry was getting, uh, was it 35 million Ghana mm. cities mm. Yes. to prepare? Right. They, in fact, they, later they, the minister they told us. And then the WHO says we would need 35 million more yes. to, to complement that. To complement mm. that. And, and, and we had to wait until Burkina Faso and Togo record their first cases. And that is why, Johnny, forgive me, but... When I look at all of this, I am reminded by the saying that it is during crisis that leaders are forged. During crisis. And I think <coughs> of how we handled Ebola, even though we did not have a single case in Ghana. Mm. But our preparation and readiness was so admirable mm. that the World Health Organization chose Ghana as a center to fight Ebola mm. around Africa. That's how ready we were as a country. Now, I'm happy the president has made this belated move to address the nation. Mm. I think basically what he sought to say yesterday was to announce a hundred million dollars. We said more than that. That we hope will actually be released mm. because we do not know how much of the 35 million Ghana cities mm. was actually released. I think the records show about 2.8 million the last time I checked was released out of the 35 million we're told was available mm. for preparation. So the talk of $100 million to get the headlines and to put Ghana out there as a country also 
you know, jeering up. Mm. It's not enough. But you can't have all the money at the same time. I'm not saying we <clears> should. <throat> I'm just saying as and when it is needed, right. I hope it will be available. Re released, okay. And released, you know, mm. as for the announcement and the, and the statement that captures the media attention yeah. and puts Ghana also among the countries in the world that is doing something, it's good. But it's not enough mm. if it gets to the point of releasing the cash and the cash is not released the, the for cash. what has to be prepared mm. on the ground just the, in case the, we record, you know, uh, this. Because, you see, uh, Johnny, mm. it, is, it is devastating the world. The economy of the world is crashing as a result of this. The whole of Italy is on a lockdown. People are not moving. Nobody is going in. Nobody is going out. Flights are losing their investments because they are afraid to lose their routes, yet they do not have passengers, and so they are forced to keep flying. Mm. Empty planes. Shops are shut down. Shelves are empty because people are stocking their homes with food because they never know when, you know, uh, 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 they are going to be asked not to move. Okay. And I think <laughs> Africa so far seem to be like the safest place mm. in the world, thank God. But it does not mean we should take it for granted. We must up our game in terms of how we prepare to insulate ourselves against this deadly, <clears throat> you know, Thank virus. You. Thank you very much. Uh, Zeni, the, the president beyond the 100 million made some public pronouncements as well. That, for example, tra travels have been banned unless it is so essential that you do for public officials when you cough cover your mouth avoid shaking hands and all of that but the key question like suhini is asking will the money be available when we need it thank you and uh, good morning to you johnny again and to my my brother alasan um i also want to again say a good morning to my constituents in the kind queen of um, we're looking forward to having very peaceful and very competitive primaries come mm. April 25th. Mm. And I believe that I've done enough for them to retain me, so I urge them on um, April 25th to cast their, their ballots for, for me for continuity. Um, the case of coronavirus mm. and um, the president's uh, speech last night, mm -hmm. Um, I, I think that a president's speech was <coughs> timely. Okay. And um, in, in cases like this, we should also be careful mm. not to create fear and panic like some of our colleagues right from parliament on the, on the other side have sought to do when they started, especially with the students in China, mm. when WHO has some protocols that needs to be followed mm. in times of um, pandem pandemics like, mm. like we are experiencing now. Um, yesterday, after the president had spoken, I was also watching um, the international media. Okay. And I, I saw the president of the United States mm. also made a, a, a speech like that um, in, the, in the States. Mm. This is a country that already has cases of, I think, over a thousand. Yeah. They have, they have deaths of about 20 mm -hmm. already mm -hmm. and counting. And um, thankfully, um, we don't have <coughs> any case reported in here yet. About 57 suspected cases have all been tested. Mm -hmm. But Johnny, you see, there, there, there's also the element that I, I am quite uh, afraid of, that if you're not careful, mm -hmm. and then um, all of a sudden people panic. And um, whether or not... We're showing the level of preparedness that needs to be to be to be shown at this time. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that um, we've been through some of these issues before mm -hmm. within the Ebola mm -hmm. Ebola scale, like my brother mentioned. It was the same people at the ports of entry mm -hmm. who were scanning people who were coming in because mm -hmm. this is this is not a, 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 a an infection <coughs> that, that that can start here unless it is imported okay. from somewhere. So, so, you need so this, this are the people, these mm -hmm. are the same people who are the po um, points of um, entry. Right. And within mm -hmm. the Ebola scale, which was even closer, mm -hmm. although that was through body fluids, and mm -hmm. so it was a, even if I am, from what I'm learning from Corona, you also have to come into contact with this virus. Right. Beyond, beyond the president yesterday saying or, or making the pledge of 100 million, he did, he did also 
admonish as all of us to be part of this this fight. Right. It 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 cannot be left for the government alone <coughs> to fight this 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 this, this um, coronavirus mm. because it is me and you. If we okay. take our personal hygiene, mm. if we adhere to the, the the protocols that are being yes, this mm. hand, culture of handshakes and the use of alcohol based hand sanitizers mm. and mm. all of that, if we adhere to it. I'm sure that as, as a society, as a community, mm -hmm. as a country, we will be in a good state mm -hmm. and might not even need this hundred million. So he need, but for example, it is mentions, he mentions it that, is important look, that we can't. It is important that the government has a re recognized that we have to make resources as, available. As for that, we, we all acknowledge it. Yeah. And in fact, the WHO had to tell us to add some more money. But mm -hmm. so he is raising a point about random tests, for example, mm -hmm. which all the countries, Italy, Germany, USA, France, wherever, they've, they've used that to be able to identify that this zone, for example, mm. is very prone and so mm. we need to go. We, we have not seen that being done. And the last time I spoke with Dr. Bedu Sarkodie, he mentioned that we had 500, uh, 5,000 face masks mm. and they were working at procuring another 5,000 mm. for frontline mm. health workers. Mm. By the way, we have more than them and this, this them morning out. this morning so, i was hearing so, that so, so, china had a capacity yeah. of producing about 20 million face masks mm. per day it has been increased to 100 million per day okay. so because of this crisis some of this does not mean it's in mm. ghana oh. we are telling you that oh, what i'm saying what i'm saying is that because of the peculiar challenges we're facing okay. today they have upped their production production has been upped because we never had a case where we needed mass face masks. But are we buying, now that, are we the, now that the situation requires that we do that, I <laughs> expect that those who are in charge of the, the procurement of these mm. face masks to ensure that we have enough to, to take care of um, um, just just in case mm. we have we have this this um, 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 virus visitors mm. and 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 even it's beyond that, more than two weeks, even for beyond example. even beyond that the, the even beyond the, that the, I have seen I have seen and videos on WhatsApp and mm, all that, mm. where you can improvise and do your own marks because of the size of the virus. Even an ordinary tissue will prevent contact. It cannot go through. Ordinary. And, and some of these things we need to improvise. Mm. And like the president said, already we are speaking to our local pharmaceutical companies to up their game and be able to produce um, a medication you, you. And, and to an extent, I don't know whether we have a local... Um, a max producer, or we can improvise. But, or but you improvise. You improvise when you can't find what is recommended. Yeah, but you see, the 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 the, the most important thing is that you have something that will, that that can protect you mm. from the virus. So with 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 the engagement of the pharmaceutical companies already mm. underway. If we have a local producer mm. of, of some of those items, I'm sure it's it's in, okay. the, in the, so the pipeline. Are we sure, sure that, that we are we can. sure that when the money is needed, we will get it? That's the key. In, in an emergency concern. situation like this, in an emergency, that's what that's why we have government and governments prioritize. Mm. And if the government makes it a priority, that look. If this thing comes, here, this is what we have to do. They're already, I'm, I'm, I'm sure the president will not speak from his. Uh, uh, he is. He has some basis. He knows that today, if we need to make twenty, thirty million dollars available, mm. we should be able to get it. And that is that is. I mean, that is why he's a president. So I mean, I for us or, or for this uh, hundred million being available, I have no doubt at all. Okay. I, I am. I am certain that if the need arises, that we 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 we, we require these resources to fight this virus, I, I, it's, it's going to be available. Okay, join us on WhatsApp 020216 That's 020216 So in the yesterday, uh, the NDC again, I, I'm sure that the Tamale, uh, the Northern region was was very, very active yesterday. Yeah. The Sami Jemfi and his team were out there in another dramatic fashion like we saw at the Pry River. <laughs> they were standing <laughs> in the dam. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, what are you looking for? Exactly. What are you trying to, to prove? Um, Johnny, by the way, it just occurred to me that our National Cathedral will also cost $100 million, right? Yeah. But that is not being just, going funded just, from government just, just resources. Okay so I mean, I, I what, mean, it what, just, what, just a brain. What wave. irony that just a brain. Wave. What an irony that what, that occurs to you. A, what, a, what a point! <laughs> what, what a point to find a coincidence to mention now, 100 million. So are you, now, are you against the building of the cathedral? 
Yeah. It's just a brainwave. Is that what we are discussing? No. Oh, but you brought it up. Oh, we can discuss it. Oh, you brought it up. No, no, I didn't. You brought it up. Let's not digress. Yeah, but, <laughs> but the point, the point, the question you asked, what mm. we are look, what are we looking for? Um, I'll start on this note, Johnny. Um, when there's a proverb in the Bani, no bui to waha sanabah vimbala. What does it mean? It means that when the goat mm -hmm. backs at the stranger, mm -hmm. it's a shame to the dog. The dog should feel ashamed mm -hmm. if it shares a house with a goat and it takes the goat to back at the stranger. Mm -hmm. You understand? Um, this is what I think our media should be doing more. What you call dramatic mm. is what I believe our media should be doing more. Randy, what, I mean, it's Johnny, when this thing came up and I was going to be here, I mm. contemplated on how to discuss this matter. Why? Because you <clears throat> see, I'm a journalist at heart. Mm. There were certain principles that attracted me to journalism. It was in the Jerry Rollins era. Mm. And I admired the courage of the journalists in that era. Mm -hmm. The Kwekubakos, the Harunates, Kwesi Pratt, the Kwesi Pratt Genius, Kofi Kumsen, the Kofi Kumsen, <clears throat> and um, um, Kweku Sechiadu, and Efsen and others. They are, they are, I admire their courage to stand up to what was considered a dreaded regime. <clears throat> and to seek accountability, regardless of the threats to their lives. I admired it, and that is what attracted me to journalism. I, 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 I felt so good that there was a power bigger than the government, <clears throat> a power Sorry. that can bring the government down to the people to account. But you know my disappointment, Johnny? No. I joined journalism, and there was a change of government in 2000. Mm. And that's when I joined journalism. And that courage was replaced with be in the middle, say nothing, let the government speak, and let the opposition speak. Just be in the middle. No longer hold government accountable. And those of us who dared to hold the government accountable under President Kufu were taught as bad journalists. It was like bad journalism. You are now supposed to be fair, be in the middle. So be fair was interpreted to mean just tell the story, let government speak, let opposition speak, walk away. No longer hold government accountable. Then we saw the transformation again under President Mahama, mm. where it was said that put the government on its toes. Occupy Ghana and others were out there marching. In fact, journalists went around this country to count the number of schools President Mahama had built. When he promised to build 230, or there 250 were, there was Afa day too. schools. Yes, they mm. went out there to count schools. All of a sudden, it has to take the NDC communication outfit to take journalists to the polluted rivers to show them the evidence of a failure against Galamsey. And even in the face of that failure, you still have journalists say, oh, but we are making some successes because we are burning equipment. Yes, under the NDC, we burnt equipment. We thought it wasn't enough. We still needed to get success. What has changed? So you see, Johnny, when you have a media mm. sit down like the dogs that they should be and allow the goat mm. that the NDC mm. should be to back at the stranger, it's a disgrace. So we had one village, one dam. Mm. And the government talks about how successful it is. And what was the promise, Johnny? The promise was to make these dams available so that farmers in those areas can farm during the dry season. Has that not been achieved? Has it? From the evidence that you saw yesterday, has that been achieved? Can the people of Nakpache actually have agriculture thriving with that magical dam? Or are you saying Sami Jemfi was like Moses yesterday? So once he got there, you know, he struck some rod and the water vanished from that dam that they were standing in the middle of the dam to address the media with no water, nothing, not even a pint of water, nothing. 
And it is not the only dam. There's, uh, there's another one at Adibo. In fact, in my constituency at Pentalaga, when I went to visit recently, the chief told me their experience and made me go to visit the dam. They had an old dam that the government wanted to kind of retrofit. According to the chief, they refused. Why did they refuse? Because they did not trust that they would do a good job. They told you that? Yes. So they gave them a site that they will want to have two dams. Okay. So they should do one here so that they can have two dams in that community. Because, you see, they had experience of another community, a, mm. a nearby community, mm. for where they destroyed their old dam. So the chief said, use this place, construct the dam there. And what happened? The dam is dried up. Nothing. They just wasted their time and their land. So it is, it is, and, 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 and we should not be surprised because the minister in charge, mm. Hawa Kumsen, mm. is on record to have told us that we are making noise as a people about those dams. Really? Because 250,000, that's the way she put it, 250,000, do you expect any meaningful dam? That's what she said, that they were not about to, do, they were not out there doing meaningful dams. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's so, so let us not even be surprised that this is happening. But let's be angry that we can be deceived in this matter, mm. in, in this manner. And I am happy that the NDC is making a pledge that the next NDC government mm. will hold people accountable for wasting 250000 on all the dams that the minister has told us are not meaningful. And indeed, the evidence is showing it, 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 it amounts the, the, the to you know, causation of reports, financial finally, loss. There were reports also of uh, resistance when you wanted to visit the second dam. That was the Adibo. Okay. Yes, but it's... What, it, what happened? No, it's the politics. Because some MPP people in the area, you know, did not want this highlighted because it will embarrass their government. It didn't matter that, you know, their government had deceived them, spent their money the way it has spent it without a dam for them to engage in dry season farming. Okay. It did not matter to them. And that, for me, was very, very shameful okay. on the part of those who, 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 who tried to stop the team from visiting what, that dam. What, what, and you see, the interesting thing is that finally. the team also went to Myang. Okay. You know, where Mohammed, a dam was Mohammed constructed. Aziz, yeah, Aziz, yeah. Aziz constructed. Where a dam was constructed in 2015 mm. under the NDC government. That dam is still serving the purpose for which it was constructed. Because, you see, and I, I've said this repeatedly, that but, governance is not just about the PR and the rhetoric. So the fact that the NDC didn't dab, dab it one village, one dam, does not mean the NDC was not serving the critical needs of you. villages in the in the provision Thank of you. dams so Thank we you. went to the myang dam Thank you. and the people saw that the water is still there there's you had the animals that were you know using it mm. to 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 for refreshment Thank and you. others. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On Min site. Ministry of uh, Special Development Initiative this uh, letter dated 11th March 2020 authored by the honorable minister for uh, no the uh, Kabori Awudumoro is the communications officer for that ministry. It says, uh, re exposing the deceptive flagship promises of President Akufuado, the case of dried up one village, one dam projects in the northern Ghana. And it says, the Minister of Special Development Initiatives has taken notice of the press conference addressed by the National Communications Officer of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, Mr. Sami Jenfi, at one of the uncompleted dams in the northern region. The ministry would wish to put on record that the small earth dams in Nakbachi and Adibo at the Yendi constituency cited by the NDC as having dried up is misleading and further demonstrate their poor appreciation of the One Village One Dam initiative. The Nakbachi uh, and Adibo dams are part of the uncompleted small earth dams which the ministry hopes to complete before the next rainy season uh, commences as such they never harvested water during the last rainy season. The ministry is therefore at a loss why uh, an uncompleted small air dam that never harvested water during the rainy season could be described by the NDC as having dried up. The ministry believes that a little due diligence and background check at the community could have attested to the verifiable fact. And further, we, we, as we are in the month of March, which is the tail end of the dry season in the north, it is expected that there will be heavy use of the harvest.
harvested water for farming, livestock, um, and, and all of that. And it says the ministry therefore uh, views the implementation of one district as, as progress, blah, blah, blah. I'd read for you quickly, so, uh, for saying it before you come in, what the NDC has also been saying in response to this. And then we will we will uh, get on. So the NDC has responded to the claims, also issued this statement yesterday. It says the National Democratic Congress has taken note of a response from the Minister of Special Development Initiatives to our moment of truth press conference on the government's fraudulent One Village, One Dam project. We are not in the least surprised by the facial response from the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives because President Akufuado and his appointees have demonstrated time and time again that they have no respect for truth for the people of Ghana. The pension of the Akufuado led government to openly lie and spread falsehood even in the face of overwhelming and incontrovertible evidence is well known by Ghanaians. We wish to state emphatically that claims in the press statement from the Ministry of uh, Special Development Initiatives are nothing but barefaced lies and a desperate attempt to cover their shame relative to the fraud implementation of their much uh, vaunted one village one dam for the evidence of doubt the one village one dam sites we visited in the company of journalists in the Adipo and Apache communities in the Yendi constituency are all completed one village one dam contrary to government's claim that these so-called so dams which are part of the several poorly constructed dugouts by government harvested and retained water during the 2019 rainy season but quickly dried up at the early stages of the dry season this was confirmed by members of two of the communities and he says that well this is a, a complete lie so between what the ministry is saying and between what the NDC is saying and what we saw yesterday uh, in Nakpachi and Adibo, what do you say as a Ghanaian? And I, I see Sweeney tried to say, okay, NDC did this in 2015. Maybe you could want to go there. But the overall dream of the one village, one dam, one district, one factory, one this, one that, is to ensure that Ghanaians are living beyond aid. Ghanaians are comfortable, Ghanaians are happy. The farmers there, whether they are rice farmers, tomato, yam, whatever it is, are happy. Too many questions to answer, correct? Uh, Johnny, this, this whole um, novel idea mm. of providing dams, sometimes dugouts, no, sometimes no. small dams mm. in some of the communities within mm. the savannah or the, the drier mm. northern part of this country. Uh, this whole idea came by when the vice president was visiting communities. Mm. And he realized that if we are able to pursue such a policy mm -hmm. where we had all year round farming activities, it will, it, will, it, will, it will forestall the aged problem of um, migration to the south of young people because they, they, they have no sources of livelihood. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will forestall the instances where people are able to engage in productive activities only within the rainy seasons. And then beyond that, mm -hmm. it becomes a problem. Right. It will forestall the issues of farming in some of the communities within the dry, dry, dry season. And it will also improve upon economic activity within that, yeah. that, 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 that location. And, and uh, from 2016, when we promised Ghanaians that we we're going to pursue this policy, mm -hmm. we have been in government for three years. And within three years, we don't, we, we don't and we did not tell Ghanaians that we we're going to implement this policy wholly within three years. They, it is still work in progress. The, the NDC, for example, wants you it to is still work in progress. the full list of, of dams. That is, that is no problem at all. And to show them I, I think that, what Johnny, makes that the is no problem at all. Any casualty check sorry. from the ministry, mm -hmm. any casualty check from the ministry will give them an update on completed dams, dams that are working programs, mm -hmm. and dams that are still on, still on, still on, still on there. On the, on so the, they should go the to the plan. ministry. Why not? The, the ministry is implement, implementing agents. I, I thought that so, the results fair at the Kwame at the results fair and technology, this which is a flagship program of the government, like we saw for free SHS, it was highlighted. You see, it will, it will be it will, it will, you, your, your question. Your question would have been very a uh, if at the results fair we had listed the Adibo and the Pachier dams fully completed okay. and which are operational mm. as as of 2020 March, those dams were completed 
they had no problems, they had no issues, mm. and so anybody could go there and verify okay. what we have done. So you're saying but the dams what, are not what the ministry are saying, <clears throat> you're saying, I, I'm, not saying I'm saying that the whole policy is a work in progress. Mm. We are not going to complete all the dams within, okay. within three years. Okay. And you know that uh, periodically we have come out with numbers mm. stating which dams have been completed, which are work in progress. In this case, just as the, the ministry has come mm. out with its aid, with its, uh, you see, you, you can't be, you can be so... Um, um, opportunistic. Uh, or, or I, I, I'm, f I'm finding it difficult to, to get the appropriate the words, word. The words that, to that's the for them to be selective and go to places where the ministry is saying that with that Dibu and the Nakpatie dams, they were work in progress. And, and, and specifically, I had a Nakpatie one mm. had some technical issues which are still being being resolved. So the, the dam itself is not complete. They, they, and then you decide mm. there as a location. Mm for you to, to do your expose for your parochial interest. I am sure and I am certain that the people of that region identify that identify with the government because the government is taking steps to solve a problem mm. that's in Perinia in the area. So why, comes why, from the so area. why was there resistance so he, from, from some young people as uh, my man Komla Kluche reported that people came with clubs and sticks I, to I, prevent I, them I from have not seen the getting reportage. to the Adibo, Adibo. I, I have not seen. Well, the videos are there. I, have, they, they I, have I, I, I personally have not seen okay, the reportage. You but, you but, but you see, you are telling me now. Okay. You are saying it now. Mm. But you see, when people think that somebody has thought of them mm. and it's solving their problem, the problem of um, lack of water for farming activities, mm. the <clears throat> age old lack of economic activity, and all of that. Somebody is taking steps, and you want to do politics with it. Mm. I'm sure that uh, I, I don't think it's the right thing to do. I, I, I don't think that uh, they, should, they should go out physically and exercise um, that sort of power or in anything of the sort. But you see, it's, it's also sometimes people get emotional about some of these things. When I have a problem and somebody's helping me, mm. a government like the New Patriotic Party is helping me mm. to solve my problem, and you think that you can, you can, you can, you, 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 you can trivialize the issue to the extent of doing this expose in places that we have not said is ready. Okay. So, I mean, the people will certainly react the, the in some, some says, way. I don't know, the I don't know how. The statement says two of the two committee members had said that, in fact, the dam was completed. Committee? And, which committee? Well, I'm sure there was a local committee. I don't know which committee they're referring to, mm. but they're saying that there was a local committee which had two members with them. Um, well, and it's a community, but there was a committee set up in the community okay. to if you like facilities. To help facilitate exactly. the, the So now two members of this com committee are saying that the dam was completed and in fact they had accumulated some water or held some water mm. only to dry out when the dry season mm. set, set in. Mm. And they so the, the argument that the dams are not completed or incom uh, uncompleted cannot hold true. You what see, do you say you to see that? You see, these two members of the committee, I don't know the size of the committee. Okay. If there were 10, 20 people in the committee, <laughs> I wouldn't know how. But you see, just like my, my, my brother was alluding to the fact that a chief was even resisting, rejected, the, the, yeah. the rejecting this whole policy. Mm. I, I find it very difficult that we are still playing politics with some of, it, some, of this, some, of, some of this. What, when did um, I say the um, chief was rejecting it? What, 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 what did you say? No, that they, 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 had, they had gone to a place yes. where there, there was a dam, okay. they wanted to improve upon the dam. Yes. Okay. And then the chief said, no, mm. we want to have two dams. Yes. So we we'll give you a so different you location. But you see, you so see, you see, don't misquote me. He didn't reject okay. it. I didn't say he rejected. He gave them a different land. Thank you. So That's that fine. they will have he to give them dance. a different land. Thank you. Within the you community, you people, mm. you are fan of mis mis misrepresenting which people, people like that. Which you people? people which people? people. So I'm just saying it as a house. You see, 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 you
um, publication from the Ghana web and it says it, that the uh, government has denied allegations by the opposition NDC that the dams being constructed under the One Village One Dam project were not fit for purpose. Some residents in some of the areas where where the dams have been built recently expressed reservations saying the dams were shoddy work done and not for agricultural purposes but in a statement uh, issued well they in that particular instance I'm looking for the quote the information minister if I remember okay so upon Kuma says 99% of the one village one dam projects without uh, incident stop the propaganda and it says that Kufuado administration takes note of the attempts by the opposition NDC to continuously disparage national programs in their bid to downplay the benefits of such programs to the Ghanaian people. The latest claim by uh, the, the NDC that the One Village One Dam program is a deceptive exercise. And the administration reminds the opposition that during the tenure of the NDC, I'm looking for exactly where he said the 99% uh, of the dams were completed. Now you are telling me no, that no, 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 uh, no, no, no. it is no, work no, in no, progress. No. I, you see, you see, I remember that when 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 that that news item came mm. up, I think a minister went there, the minister of yeah. information, right, together with the minister for special development. They actually talked. And he says ninety nine percent says, of the dams were well, completed. Yes, so the dams that they visited. Okay. At the time, okay. the dams that they visited, Not the 99, entirety. oh, of course, okay. it's, a, it's a work in progress, like I'm alluding to. Okay. And he also alluded to that, and that's what the article is telling you, okay. that it's a work in progress. We are not going to finish all this within a year or two. Okay. But you see, if, if the NDC, when they had power from 2009, Okay. to 2016, mm -hmm. had pursued a similar policy, had built dams like mm -hmm. we are doing, mm -hmm. I am sure that uh, we wouldn't be here talking about dams okay. because we would have built enough I, dams up north to forestall the occurrence of okay. all, the, all, the, all the challenges. I, that I, found, the, I found the, the paragraph. People. It yeah. says currently 300 dams are under construction. Mm -hmm. Four out of the 300 dams representing 1.3 are the only ones to have recorded challenges. These include ongoing works at the dam at Kajelu in the Kasana Nankana West District, which was damaged by unexpected rainfall. The damages have since been rectified. It is these four that the NDC, which continuously fail to provide alternative uh, solutions to the irrigation challenges up north, suggest are evidences of a failed program which has caused financial loss to the state. About 99% of the projects are proceeding without incident. Some of the projects have already started serving the beneficiary communities well. That's the exact quote from the uh, Honorable Minister for Information. So that's so, so Four out uh, of 300. Yeah. It's less well, than 1%. The, so the ones that are Debo and uh, Nachi... We're not part of the four. I am not sure, and, mm. and I, I am not sure mm. whether... But he said 99%. Even the 99% that we said. I mean, over time, we construct roads and they have challenges. Mm. Over time, we do projects and they, they have challenges. Mm. And even, you see, technically, okay. even um, when, when a contractor does some construction, there mm. is some period of time for which they gave some guarantee mm. that if mm. something goes wrong, they will come fix it. Mm. So we should, we, should be, we should be quite patient with, with this policy. We should support the government to pursue this policy mm. so that people up north will benefit from this policy and forestall these whole challenges okay. of lack of economic so you know, I, I think we are doing I'll the right give, thing. I'll give you if, one minute if, and I'll give you one if, minute. If, if the NDC had Jenny, pursued Jenny, that Jenny. policy mm. or a similar mm. policy mm. to solve the challenges Jenny, of our brothers see, from that part of this country, okay. I'm sure okay. that we wouldn't see, be okay. here. First of all, first of all here, when yeah, I said these people are very fond of dishonestly communicating to their people, he takes offense. But he sits here and he calls construction of dams a novel idea. It's not a novel idea. And that is why even after the press conference yesterday, we took the journalist to a dam that was constructed in 2015. How many so it's dams not a novel idea. Okay. Over 120 the, the dams. How many, how many, how many over dams? 120 dams were done over, over between the years 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, 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 between the years 2013 and 2016. Over mm -hmm. 120 but you're dams. Forward. So it's not a novel idea. I'm just telling within, you. It's not within, a novel within, idea. within the first three years, it doesn't matter how many. Once it is dam. not a novel idea. And within it's a lie. the first three it's a, years it's of your I to suggest that it's a novel idea. Moving on. Within the first on. three years, they did not construct one single dam. He's telling us that they constructed dams between 2013 and 2016. So you see the dishonesty, he's changing the debate again. Of course, you see the dishonesty, he's changing the debate again. The debate is that this is a novel idea.
And yes, I'm telling you that is not a novel idea. That's what a I'm novel telling idea is something within, that has within, not been contemplated before. Within the three years I'm of your government, you that it's a lie. So let's not don't bring a new debate. We have the second debate, John. The second, the second have issue is the second issue. You have the impudence to say that one after the other. The second issue. The second issue is that Johnny. You will be surprised to re to hear that on Monday, on Monday, it actually rained in most parts of the northern region. Mm. It actually rained on Monday mm. in most parts of the northern region. And this press conference was held yesterday, Wednesday. Mm. And there was no drop of water in that dam. What are you saying? And you see, what I'm telling you is that they are saying that this I'm is sorry. a dam that is Johnny. not complete. Okay. Yes. And that they are going to do it yes. before the rainy season. Yes. And that is the same excuse they gave yes. when the first you know, uh, uh, reported, you know, uh, okay. uh, uh, when, when the, the first pictures mm. of the, the shoddy work was shown, Thank you. they went and said, it, it is only this four. It is only this four that, that, that have a problem. Thank you very you much. Now that we have done that, the Honourable, the Honourable, Issa Fusseini is the Honourable Member of Parliament for the Tamale Okaikwe North constituency. He's been here on the ticket of the NPP also. al Hassan Suhini is the member of parliament for the Tamale North constituency. He's been here on the ticket of the NDC. Bright or will come up shortly. The sports and more. We're also asking you the key question. Do you honestly feel that as a country we are prepared for COVID-2019? And the big fat conversation about the one-year commemoration of the Emil Short Commission. We'll have uh, Dr. Enes Kofi Aboshi. is a former uh, dean of the Gimpa Law School here later today. Join us. We'll see you after the break.